it's Mary again, and yes, new angle. I wanted to try out some different lighting. Even though it's really glooming outside, so I shouldn't even be able to tell the difference in the lighting, but... Oh well. Anyway, anyway. The point of this video is I'm going to be doing a review of The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Fuller. And the funny thing is I've been wanting to review this book for like two weeks because I really, really loved it, but I was waiting to finish two other books and I haven't yet, and I'm like, I'm not waiting any longer. I'm reviewing this book because I need to talk about it. Um, basically, before I get started, I was sent this book by a UK books seller called Book People, and I will link their website down below. But that being said, I picked this book out on purpose, specifically because I have been wanting to read this book for months, but they don't sell it in the US because it's not out in the US till the fall time. And this is beginning a lot of buzz in the UK, so I really freaking wanted to read it. And just to give you the, the freaking synopsis page to tell you why I wanted to read it, so you will also want to read it, and then I'll start my review. Basically, I read this, and I was sold. Ahem. I'll tell you what happened, because it'll be a good way to introduce my brother. His name's Simon. I think you're going to like him. I really do. But in, an, a, cu but in a couple of pages, he'll be dead. He was never the same after that. So, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Fuller, 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 Filer, Filler, wow. Before I get started on like in-depth stuff, I want to give you my general feelings, which are I loved this book. I loved this book so much. It was just, uh, yes. So this book follows a young man um, called Matthew, and this book, in this book, he's struggling with both the death of his brother Simon and mental illness. Bear with me, there might be a lot of jump cuts because it's hard to get my thoughts together on this because it's, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> no. This book has such a truthful portrayal of mental illness that it really resonated me with me while reading it. Um, this book itself is ex it's totally character driven. It's Basically, Matthew, our main character, sort of writing a memoir, in a way, for his own personal reasons, recounting his life and recounting, you know, the death of his brother when he was very young, and then everything that sort of started to lead up to his mental illness, and then how his mental illness has sort of affecting his life in the present. And so, because of that, because it is him recounting his whole life, this book itself, the plot, is pretty jumbled because our main character, Matthew, isn't really interested in making the story easy for us. He's basically just writing out all of his thoughts to make sense for himself. That being said, it adds a very interesting layer. So, basically, we are being told Matthew's life from Matthew but he's writing all these, he's writing his life in a whole bunch of little bits and pieces throughout his life. I keep saying the word life, but it's about his life, so that's kind of a thing. And it's kind of like strung together. I know that sounds really confusing, but I'll go into the example. So basically, basically there's like two different Matthews telling the story, and I know that sounds weird, but basically there's two different Matthews at two different timelines telling the story. Either when he's 19, in his apartment, um, when he's first feeling the symptoms and the problems that occurred with his mental illness, so you kind of get to see him fall into his madness in a way, or he's writing out how he's feeling during this time period and reflecting, excuse me, reflecting on his past and then thinking about it then, as well as when he's 21 and in the mental hospital also reflecting on his past and also when he was 19 in his apartment while he was losing his um, mental state. And how the author goes about showing this is it's very interesting. So when he's 19 and in his apartment, he's writing on a typewriter. So the font is in typewriter font. When he's in the mental hospital, he's writing on a computer. And the font is computer 12 point Times New Roman font. Honestly, there really isn't much more I can say about this book besides just talk about Matthew and how his story is told by the author. Because when you read this, I honestly can I honestly felt like the character Matthew was real. 
Like, I honestly felt like I was reading a man's memoir and his struggles and his difficulties with his mental illness, and I was rooting for him. I wanted him to succeed. I was sad. I was also, and I will say this is really impressive, while I could relate to him, I couldn't at the same time because I don't have a life-altering mental illness like Matthew has. So sometimes when you really got to see, you know, his struggles, you kind of... You couldn't relate to him because unless you have that, there's no way you can. Overall, this story was so honest and so realistic and just and just a wonderful story about a man trying to live his life, essentially, and it was wonderful and I really loved it. I especially loved the ending, which I can't really talk about because that's the end of the book. But I will say, I, I really loved it. So if you've read this, you know what I'm talking about. I just, I just really, ah, like, I'm sorry if I was unable to fully articulate my exact feelings and the exact reasons why I loved it, but really, it was just an honest, stunning novel about a man who is trying his best to be the best he can, but he has hiccups in his life that is preventing him from doing so, and you're and he's trying his hardest to work through them, and it's sometimes he's not either, but you're just you're just along for the ride because he's just telling you everything that's going on, and it was great, and I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads. So everyone check this out. If you're in the UK, pick it up. If you're not, buy it off the book depository or pre-order it and when it comes out in America, because it was fantastic. And I will see you guys soon with another video. <laughs>